My name is Into Leivanta. I was born in Finland May 8, 1923. I started my studies there, and then the war interrupted them, the war against the Russians, 29, when they invaded Finland following the, their capture of the Baltic countries. I was at 16 when the Russia invaded, tried to invade Finland, so I was too young to be called to the service in the armed forces on the front. But they, uh, I had fortunately had lots of Boy Scout training and they trained me in the so-called National Guard of Finland. And uh, I was placed into the, uh, as a guard on a prisoner war camp in my home city, Kokkola. For a 16-year-old kid, uh, it was a very new experience. And, uh, but it also matured me quite mo much more. Up to that point, uh, sports had been my main interest in soccer, summer, ice hockey, winter. And uh, after war ended, uh, I became a pretty competitive scholastic student also. And at the same time, uh, my aunt, aunt uh, who had come to America in the late 1920s, uh, had uh, managed to get the scholarship offer in the University of Minnesota. So I arrived at the Riscount in March 1947 uh, for a study purpose. And uh, about six months later, I was uh, qualified to become a citizen. After a year out there, I got the scholarship from the, the Colorado State. So in uh, two years' time, I got the Bachelor of Arts degree in the humanities from there. The following years, a Bachelor of Science degree in the forestry. Well, we both went to the Finnish Lutheran Church there in Minneapolis, and uh, I didn't know him at all to begin with. And then we were both in youth group, and so we got to know each other a little bit. Then. And I was singing a solo in the, one of the church services. And that young lady, Ruth, had poked her sister in the ribs and said, hey, I'm going, to, I'm going to marry that fellow. That's his story that I poked my sister at when he sang a solo and said, I'm going to marry him. And I don't, I'm not sure that's true at all. But anyway, little by little, we got to know each other. And... Well, as the women are pretty clever in the area of so loving and the family start and the husband church, uh, I didn't know all that thing that was going behind, but a year later I ended up proposing to her. Uh, December uh, 27th, 1950, we got married. And we were married five years before we had Lisa. Then Laura came along. 13 months we had Laura after Lisa. And we wanted six kids because we both came from a family of six kids, but the Lord had other plans for us, and so that was all we had. Well, uh, at following the five and a half years in Ketskan Bulk Company, I was learning the process of organizing the operations and then some crew hiring. I was offered a job as a chief forester in up for Alaska Lumber and Bulk Company. And uh, Ruth, wife and two of our kids, Lisa and Laura, we moved to Sitka. I enjoyed it. It, it was fantastic fishing, fantastic hunting. And uh, of course in Finland, I already had learned the basics of the sailing and handling mo motorized boats and all that, and the fishing. It was a heaven for me. While we were in Sitka, Alaska was still a territory. You were able to claim homestead up to 160 years anywhere on the federal lands. We scouted the areas, the hundreds of islands around Sitka, and finally claimed uh, one island that had a beautiful sandy beach. I called it Finn Island in my application, which now is shown by the name of Finn Island in Alaska maps. And Ruth uh, showed interest also in the seafaring and fishing. And I like the island a lot. Do we? Uh did a lot of exploring, uh, walking around, and and then uh, using the boat to go into town and, and back again. So it was fun. So 
fruit and I spent summer months there and we had a lot of visitors. I mean, a lot of them, including our own family. And then the grandkids arrived and they just lapped it up there because that was right down there, avenue of interest and all the freedom. And so there are lots of interesting memories from that life. We finally ended up selling the island and the cabins and the property there about 20 years later. Moved to Hillsborough, Oregon, and we stayed there till the rest of my, my working years. I retired in 1987. And finally, when our physical conditions, particularly roots, uh, became very uh, iffy, we were invited by Lisa and Jim to share their life. Good offer, and we accepted it. But it took time to move from a three-car garage and a four-bedroom house in Hillsborough, Oregon, to a 600-square-foot six, grandma's quarters. But we managed it, and Lisa, Jim, and their kid, eight kids have been very patient with our, our inabilities to do what we used to do. Well, Ruth is now 87, I'm 91, and uh, looking back at our life together, 64 years of marriage and all that, we are very, very cognizant how God has guided our lives and performed many miracles in our life, and now on the guidance of the Holy Spirit has given us overabundance of blessings that we don't deserve uh, by our own merit. It's just a free gift for all those who place their trust in our Savior and are willing to receive the guidance and counsel by the Holy Spirit in our daily life here. Yes.